Hello Music Muffins and welcome to And today's lesson is how to write a melody. Let's get started straight away. Number one is to pick your key because you can't really write a melody if you don't know what key you're in unless it's a tonal but then I wouldn't really call it a melody but that's a different thing entirely. Number two is to think about the notes in the scale and use them in the melody. Let's say you were writing in C major or something, then you would want to try and use C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Obviously not necessarily in that order. So those those will be like your reference points. Obviously you can use notes, other notes from the scale if you think it works in certain places. Generally you probably would stick to the scale, it's certainly if you were trying to write something simple. Number three is to use some stepwise motion, or at least smaller intervals because that can help with making it memorable and making it easy to sing. Some melodies do have leaps in though and are very effective, for example somewhere the rainbow has an octave like that and obviously that's one of the most memorable tunes like ever but following that it has steps and smaller intervals after that leap so it's good to have a mixture but it's okay to start with sort of to have medium sized ones as well like Twinkle Little Star and Star Wars for example both start with a fifth and obviously those tunes are popular and they work so steps are good but you can use other things as well um okay Moving on. Number four is to think about the rhythm and use that to capture the emotion. For example, this probably sounds sad. Whereas this sounds happy. Rhythm is an important part of music and you can definitely use that to your advantage to capture the feeling that you want in your song or your piece or whatever it is. So you can use certain rhythms to help portray whatever it is you're trying to get across. And lastly, if you have chords already, make the melody fit the harmony. So if you have a chord progression like, I don't know, C, G, A minor, F or something, then you'll want to make sure that your melody fits within those chords rather than just being completely random and being like <laughs> and sounding really out of place. You might want to use notes from the chords or just notes from the scale that fit inside where that chord is. So if you use the chord, so if you have C you might use C, E and G in your melody but you can have D and F in between as well. For example, passing notes, I think that's what they're called. It's been a while since I did that in music theory. Yeah, so it's good to have notes from like the chords, but this, it's okay to have in between notes as well to just make it more interesting and to create a melody that's not just basically arpeggios of chords, because that might not necessarily be what you want. If it is though, then obviously. So yeah, that is how to write a melody. I hope this video was helpful, I hope the tips were helpful and that I worded them okay. Like, I understand what I'm trying to say in my head, but then when it comes out and then I think, did they get that? Do they know what they, do they know what I'm trying to say here? I don't know. But hopefully it was clear enough and um, didn't sound too dumb. Thank you for watching Music Muffins. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to show the like button some love. And if you want to see more videos, you know what you need to do. Obey the cushion. And I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye.